This video will give you 10 tips to learn Python for free. With YouTube, you'll want to pay attention because nobody is talking about these and they will be game changers for your learning experience. Trust me, putting these tips in action will allow you to learn Python at an accelerated pace. So relax and enjoy these 10 tips to learn Python programming using YouTube. So you want to learn how to program in Python? Well then, YouTube might be your perfect resource. Number one, code with the videos. And this one comes with a bonus tip. Did you know you can embed YouTube videos in your Jupyter Notebook? Here is what I recommend you do. When you want to learn from a YouTube tutorial, open up the Jupyter Notebook by typing Jupyter Notebook in your terminal or by clicking Jupyter Notebook in the Anaconda application. Then in your Jupyter Notebook, display the YouTube video and start coding along with the video. Check out the description for the code on how you can do this and you can copy and paste it into your Jupyter Notebook. But the main point of this tip is that you need to be actively learning. Coding is something you learn by doing. So grab your computer and code along with the YouTube video. Number two, set goals. You need to have a goal in mind. What do you wish to accomplish? Accomplish. A goal can help motivate you and keep you excited about what you're doing. For example, your goal might be to solve a problem that you're currently working on. Or maybe your goal is to automate a task that you hate doing over and over. When a goal is set and written down, you are more likely to make progress with these programming tutorials. Basically, I'm asking you to watch with a purpose. Have a project in mind and watch with the purpose of fulfilling your dream or making it better. Number three, be patient with yourself. You may have to watch a video over and over again. Over and over and over and over and over again. We all learn at different pace. It doesn't matter if you take a long time to understand something or a short amount of time. Learning is learning. That sounds like it could be from a movie. Some concepts can be challenging at first. After all, you're trying to learn a new language. Please be patient. You may need to watch a video more than once in order to understand it. That's okay. You got this. I believe in you. Number four, subscribe to multiple YouTube channels. That way you get the latest content when it's released. Staying up to date on programming is important because updates occur all the time. Different Python YouTubers have different strengths and focuses. If you really want to learn how to program in Python or even other languages, I recommend subscribing to multiple channels. In the world of programming, updates and changes are happening all the time. Sometimes new and better languages come out. It is important for you as a programmer to stay up to date. So subscribe and hit bell notifications notifications on these channels. You will not only benefit from being taught programming from different perspectives, but you will stay current and well practiced. Number five, interact with the community. With YouTube channels, I encourage you to like and comment on video. This can create a mini online network. This will also help the YouTube channel. It allows the YouTuber to continue to make content that is free and fun. Number six, don't give up. Persistence is key. If you are ever tempted to give up, do not. Do not. It may take months or years before you start feeling comfortable with code. Sometimes your progress may be difficult to measure, which may cause you to think that you're not progressing at all. Do not stress. Do not stress. If you are practicing and learning new things, you can be assured that you are progressing. Do not give up and remember, persistence is key. Number seven, watch a course or tutorial even if you feel like you already understand the material, you'll probably learn something new. Sometimes a course or tutorial will be published and you already feel like you know everything about that topic. Watch it anyway. Heck, if you feel you're already good at it, then watch it at two times the speed. You may find that you forgot something or just need a reminder of how something worked. Or you can go to the comment section and see if there are any questions that you can answer with your knowledge. We'll talk about this more in a second. Number eight, think how could I apply what I have just learned to a project I've done in the past? The better you get at coding, the more equipped you are to write clean and optimized code. Your code might not do anything different, but you have learned to make the program more concise and 
faster. Faster. Whenever you're watching YouTube videos, think about how what you are learning could improve your past projects. Number nine, practice what you have learned. You need to apply what you have learned. If you currently do not have some sort of project, then you'll find it difficult to master coding. I recommend practicing on websites like HackerRank or Project Euler. I've linked them in the description. You will be able to apply what you have learned and perhaps more importantly, you'll be able to find the gaps in your knowledge and skills. This will encourage you to keep learning. Remember, practice makes perfect. Number 10, share or discuss what you have learned with a friend. If you know something, then teach it to others. As I mentioned before, go to the comment section. See if you can help someone out if you feel comfortable with answering questions. Teaching is the best way to master a subject because you have to be able to understand it in a way that you can explain it simply and yet still be able to answer contemplated questions. This is one of the best ways to improve your programming skills. With these 10 tips, I am confident that you can use YouTube to learn how to program in Python at a high level. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please click subscribe. Here are two other videos that I think you'll enjoy.